Hey guys, I hope we're all well. Um, I'm back from a photography show now. It's been an absolutely couple, uh, absolutely amazing couple of days. Uh, I've met some amazing people, listened to some amazing talks, and kind of I've, I've come away feeling really, really inspired and buzzing to kind of get to that next step of where I want to go to. Um, so whilst I was at the show, yeah, like I said, it was it was very much about like learning and progressing my own skills. So I went to talks from Luke Curtis, uh, Luke Curtis, MS for marketing. You know that was. It was incredible. Like, it was just a really good talk. Straight from the start, he was like, he's admitting he's not the best photographer in the world, but his marketing is bang on. And you know, this guy is doing amazing things. And to hear kind of his thought process is, is absolutely amazing. And if you haven't seen it, it's on his YouTube channel now, so you can kind of check it out. I'll, um, I'll put a link to that below. Um, Luke, you owe me a beer for that one. Cheers, mate. Um, on top of that, Hilmar Smith. Uh, she, her kind of work is. Um, she just wants to make people laugh really and it's amazing it's you know bringing the fun into it she's got an amazing story behind her but at the same time her work is she brings things to life like if people are laughing she's doing a job and she loves it you know she's laughing on stage and it just she looked like she's having the time of her life absolutely i'm jealous for her but at the same time obviously I'm, I'm having a great time too but if i can do what she's doing for the rest of my life i'll be the happiest man on the uh, on the earth uh, as well as that we uh, we had the exhibition I had art and dance, so thank you to Luke again for that one. Uh, it was an absolute honour to have my work on display at the photography show. Um, it's you know some amazing work there, and to, to be put alongside it was absolutely amazing. I absolutely loved it, and absolutely buzzed to see it in the flesh as well. Uh, I did bump into a few people. Um, I'm sorry if I've forgotten some of them, but there's Martin Bone and Stuart Westwood, both from Scotland. So once you get used to their accents, really nice guys to speak to. Both you know both very informative as well. Uh, Queen of oh, Shout About It and Big Hats, Georgia Flynn. Uh, who else was there? Ant Oxley from Sheffield. Uh, just, yeah, an amazing photographer, really nice guy. And then uh, video side, Adam King from Insight Video, a Leicestershire based, really good. You know, those guys fly out here, there, and everywhere, and just seem to be loving life too, like proper embracing the, uh, you know, the video scene. Uh, so kind of meeting all these people, all these different talks, it, it got me thinking like I need, to, I need to find my direction, like they've kind of given pointers but now it's up to me really to, to take my career to the next level or the direction I want to go in. Uh, along with that, a couple of years ago I went, oh it was a couple of months ago should I say, um, I was at London Design Week and uh, Berghaus had an exhibition on called um, Time to Get Out. So this was kind of about understanding where you want to go, who you want to go with kind of thing and just just doing it, you know, they've given you the tool, well they've given you kind of motivation, now it's time to go and embrace it. Uh, the hashtag was actually time to get out, uh, so you can probably see some, some things people have wrote on there, or some people's amazing stories. Um, but I picked up one of their sheets to keep because I knew it would come in handy one day and this is probably the day like I want to kind of implement that into my photography. So on the sheet, uh, you'd write down a couple of things, you'd stick one on a wall and you'd keep one for yourself. Um, so the, what they said is what boxes are, where do you want to get to, uh, who would you like to take, what would you like to take, and what would you like to leave behind. Uh, so putting that into photography terms, like, you know, what stage of career I am now and where do I need to get to and how do I need to get there. In business it's, it's like smart targets, but here, you know, with uh, where do I want to get to, it's kind of who is my ideal market? Who do I need to target to? Um, who will I take with me? So it's, you know, I'd, that's a bit of a tough one. Um, communities, just kind of keep, keep interactive with, with communities, be inspired by others, inspire people, help people. We're not competitors, we are a community and I hope one day everyone sees it that way and we can help each other um, to be the best we can be. Uh, what will I take with me? It's kind of like, obviously with a kit, you know, I've got loads of kit, but I want to be as mobile as possible. I want to be able to put everything in a bag or two and be able to go wherever I want and still produce the same results. At the moment, I can't do that, so I'm going to make a few adjustments. You know, there's a few people I'm speaking to at the moment, um, which is obviously going to help along the way. But not just um, not just with that, you know, it's, uh, it's the other side of it as well. It's, you know, um, what kind of what kind of genres do I want to take with me, what, um, you know, what kind of, going to the next point, what do I want to leave behind, what kind of areas of photography do I not want to pursue, because let's, you know, let's not knock them on the head, but let's put them to the side, let's not focus on them, let's not market them, let's focus on the ones we want, for me, music photography, music portraits, bang, that's what I want to do, 
um, you know, if that's working for the band, if that's working for an agent, if that's working for the promoters, whoever, like, if I'm in that scene, that's the scene I want to be in, so let's make sure that happens. And obviously a flip side of that, what do I want to leave behind? There's a couple of areas, like, I'm not going to lie, there's a couple of areas I still do want to pursue, but I'm not going to market them, I'm just going to leave them in the background and just let them do their thing. Um, I believe I'm good at them, but I don't want to focus my efforts on them at the same time, because they're, they're almost a means to an end, which it sounds bad, but you know what, so what? Like, that's, that's fine, we can't do everything we want in life. Uh, so I'm going to start to kind of implement these time to get out principles um, into my work uh, and into my business, really, because yeah, otherwise I'm just wasting time on things that I don't really want to do, <laughs> to be honest with you, um, and I don't think that's good for me. And also it's not good for my clients because they're just going to be confused about what services I offer. I want to be the best I can be in a specialised industry, which Luke touched on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to focus on that. Uh, so yeah, so that's it really. Like I just, you know, I just wanted to get that message across. Like, just find a clear objective for yourself. You know, find how you're going to get there, what you need to do, what you need to take to be there, where you need to invest or develop, and also knock out things what you don't need at all. You know, just just put them to one side or let them slip away from you. Like, why not? Like you know there's so many amazing photographers out there why not be a specialist in one area rather than you know do five or six different genres of photography and just be half decent at them or you know not be able to focus all your marketing efforts on them uh, so that's really where i'm going with that so have a think about it i'll um you know if anyone wants to ask any questions please do just reach out to me on either on here in the comments or you can message me on facebook instagram twitter my, my handle's at andy tapped photo I'll put links below as well for that, or through the website, um, as well as that email address, contact at andytap.com. Uh, I did want to spend a lot more money at the the show, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> um, but at this stage of my career I don't need to, I need to focus on the kit I've got, as well as a few other bits I'm going to look at, but you know, I've got the kit, if I can use it I know I can do amazing stuff with it, there's a few bits I need to get, but you know, where I'm at now I've got I've got enough to do what I need to do, I believe. Um, minus a few changes with lighting, maybe. I've got quite a lot of big, heavy lighting, which I want to get rid of for smaller lights so they can tuck into my bag. Um, I did buy two things, though, which I'm happy about. Uh, I've joined the Tevatool Army, so, yeah, I've got that now, and that, um, it's a bit annoying. I'm using it with my Fuji, um, so I'm supposed to get some special software to so I can tether it to Lightroom directly, but that costs money. I don't want to spend money. So you can use watch folders and just auto import nice and easy. And that's, yeah, that's saving that cost. Uh, as well as that, a new tripod stand, which is on right now. That's by k &F Concept. I really like it. It was a really good rate. We had some good bags on the show as well. Um, I'll probably do a review on that as well, but uh, obviously it's holding my camera up for now, so I don't really want to. <laughs> uh, but apart from that, yeah, it was an absolutely amazing show. Uh, I can't wait to do it again. Thank you once again to Luke and Art, is, um, Art and Dance. Absolute honour. And apart from that, have a great rest of the week, guys. Uh, any questions, just fire them across to me. Nice one. See you soon. Bye. Uh, just a really quick one. My work on my display. Uh, right.